Let's build up as a what they call those. Can't remember exactly how many bikes I've got, but it's over 50 and probably less than 100. And I've got some bikes that are fully restored in very good condition, and I've got some bikes that are just rusty frames that need to have, you know, all that I need to collect things for and build up. Yeah, a lot of it is the story behind the bikes, yeah. I've got a push bike that um, I bought off the uh, child of the man and he, he rode it every day to the meatworks all his life. You know, from when he, he bought it when he was um, an apprentice or whatever and he worked there all his life and he rode that bike virtually every day. There's so many stories about bikes and they're just, they're just a nice, they're a joy to be able to ride. This bike here is a Hutchins. It's made in England in 1956. They made this curly bottom thing here, and this one's actually a double curly. It's the only one in the world. Yeah, I've got a vintage tandem, and I've got a 1930s unicycle, and just things pop up. I don't know why I sort of started collecting push bikes, but I know at the time I had a, um, a shed and I had cars, and so I had about six cars, and I sold one of the cars, and I realised far out, I can put about 15 push bikes in that space of a car. And so that's what I did, I had a space in the shed, and you know, push bikes are easy, you can hang them off the wall, you can do, you know, you can make displays with them. In this day and age, when all this net zero stuff's going on bicycles are really good to because they give you exercise as well and they're such a simple means of transport and very energy efficient well I'm planning to set up my own museum or just to might to display my collection I'll either do it in the shop I've got here or I have an opportunity that I might take the um, church hall down the road there and but that might take a bit longer. Mount Morgan has sort of been you know on its back for a long time and with it's just another little thing to try and encourage people to come up. It started as a Facebook group, the Gentle Folk Fixie Small, um, I can't remember the other bit of the name, but it's a long name. The Gentle, it's the Gentle Folk Single Speed Fixie and Old Bike Society. Basically we'll ride around and get people to show us parts of history. Oh, I have trouble saying the name sometimes, it's so long. But the name, the name sort of says it all, like it's just meant to be fun, right? So it's just meant to be fun. You've actually got to get a special permission from Facebook to have a name that long on the, on, on the page. <laughs> yeah, we started out with a couple of us trying to be cool dudes riding our fixies around town. And then people said, well, I haven't got a fixie, but I've got an old bike. So we, we, we extended the name to the General Folk Single Speed Fixie and Old Bike Society. We actually came past quite a few stables um, at Key Lane as we came through here, okay? And that building there with the four or five doors. I'm not interested in racing or anything, but I'm interested in bikes, yeah. Well, in, in the late 60s when my grandfather died, my parents were going to put this in the dump and I said, no, 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 you don't. I'll. So I took it home and hung it up in the shed and about about seven or eight years ago I pulled it down and made sure it worked again. So it was built new in 1923. Hasn't changed. Tires only. Yeah, a bit of oil. Because I have a lot of odd bikes and I like the um, just a casual group ride and we normally socialise afterwards. So just a good thing to 
play around with everyone who's here. Um, it's a lot of fun, gets a lot of attention, and um, especially in a group like this where yeah, everyone just riding something different. Actually, it's very easy to ride. It's just about the dismounting and um, getting on it in the first place. Um, once you're on it, it's actually very balanced and very easy to ride. It's very inclusive. We've had families with children. Um, it's pretty slow. I think we might average about five kilometres an hour because there's a lot of stopping and starting and explaining and catching up. And occasionally we have to do a repair or two. You know, we've had pedals fall off and lots of punctures or a few punctures. So, yeah, it's, it's, the aim is to have fun, um, to pretend we're 12 years old again, basically, and, and sort of ride our bikes around town. We have interesting things in this town, um, and we try and, and dig in and explore it on our bikes. Yeah, it's great. A lot of the major cities in the world have these sorts of tours. You know, I've, I've been to them in Tokyo and Singapore and, of course, Rockhampton. We're up there. <laughs> Thank you.